Well, hello, and welcome to another episode of Ridiculous Free Group Listings. I'm your host, Fluff, and if you have your own listing that you would like to see on the show, I will link down below in the description. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing to further support this channel. Let's jump into it, shall we? Gyno Violence 2022-2023. Gyno, huh? Gynecologist guitar. I don't, that was a terrible joke. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, so it's supposed to be a V with horns? Also, quality of the photo, 10 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> is this the most ugly guitar we've ever had on the show? It might be, guys. Probably not, but... <laughs> It's like, it's like top 10. Um, oh boy, I don't even know where to start with this. <laughs> is anybody weirded out by the fact that the stand is like, ha! It's, it looks, it looks. Yeah. You know how it looks. Um, it's supposed to have horns and it's supposed to be like the devil's V I'm guessing. And I don't even, is this the joint? My God, these photos are horrible. Um, a coffin case built out of a pallet. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I just noticed it's left-handed too. Left-handed pe people are evil. Now it all makes sense. My daughter's evil, I can say that. I'm the father of an evil person. Let's see what the listing says. Handcrafted electric guitar, you don't say. Pad oak body and neck with real ox horn grafts. Imagine being an ox and being like, wonder what I'm gonna end up as someday. You ever think about that, Larry? And your buddy Larry's like, maybe a guitar. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Little did you know. Entirely hand sculpted. Yeah, I know, I, I got that part. EMG Zach Wild Signature Humbuckers handmade leather shoulder strap. Left-handed, because that, that's never going to sell. Made in Italy. <laughs> $2,275, guys. Left-handers, this one's for you. Next listing. Handmade electric guitar. <laughs> what do you want to call it? Uh, I don't know, handmade electric guitar. <laughs> well, what is it, though? It's handmade electric guitar. <laughs> It's in crazy Uncle Joe's guitar bizarre. Oh, in Florence, Oregon. Oh, he's from Oregon. Now it makes sense. Oregonian. They're weird. I'm from Seattle. I can say that about Oregonians. Uh, oh. <laughs> now what? What gives it away that it's homemade? Besides the body and the possibly crooked neck. And the dot inlays being completely wrong. What? Some, was this, okay, this is like, if someone was trying to describe Mark Morton's Jackson guitar to a 10 year old. It has my name on it. <laughs> now I have to buy it guys. Any guitars that have my name on it, I have to buy it. What's the guitar called? It's Ryan. Fred's over there. Larry's over there. I prefer Larry's my number one right now. Who I would love to know. So at some point, you know, this has obviously been sanded down and all that kind of stuff. Every single guitar ever made at some point had a stoked owner that took delivery and acceptance of it at some point. Do you know what I mean? Who was this person? Presumably they were named Ryan. Bought this to make a custom electric guitar and never got around to it. It's super nice with a set neck and flame maple body. Oh, and flame maple. Body is alder, I think. Brother, $300. Let's make him an offer. 
I'll give you a hundred bucks. Oh, it didn't uh, automatically. Mm. All right, guys, stay tuned. I might come back and uh, I might buy this thing. This is it. Roscoe Pamelina BJ Graphic One Nineteen Ninety One. Oh my! Oh, ah, ah! I don't know why I'm covering my screen. <laughs> oh no! 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 Who sent me this? <laughs> Hang on. I need a minute. Wait, I shouldn't open my mouth. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> She's drinking a soda. She's drinking a soda. She's just drinking a soda. Or eating a banana. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm gonna get flagged for sure. Although it's not breaking reverb's terms of you know, terms of service, so <laughs> So this was painted by a uh, a gal. Presumably named Pamelina in 1991. 1991 was a different time, kids. I need a moment. I'm just, I need. <laughs> I will not send pictures to you even if you've asked. I will only send pictures now after an offer has been made through the payment system. Okay, so this guy probably has clearly been like reported before. I am uncomfortable with even showing. Oh, who, who in 1991 was like, you know, be cool. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a trim. Mm -hmm. looks like a cool guitar. Honestly. Oh. <laughs> I can't, oh, I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. You, I'm, I, ah. I keep wanting to cover the screen as if you're over my shoulder watching, like my parental. I'm like, oh no. Fifteen grand, if if you wanna, if you wanna graphic. Music Man Sterling 1993 Factory Prototype One of One Two Piece Bird's Eye Maple Body, fifteen hundred dollars. Ooh, what do we have here? So, I was sent this a couple of times, and it looks terrible looks terrible look at the wavy finish also notice that uh, that's an old bridge too oh yuck bird's eye maple body mm-mm mm-mm Okay, so this is supposed to be a prototype. I am not the world's foremost expert on Music Man basses. Uh, it's certainly a ridiculous bass. Uh, if it was real, the price would be actually pretty good. However, let's go ahead and read the listing. Rare and unique 1993 Music Man Sterling with two piece bird's eye maple body, never seen before. This bass is either a prototype or employee-made instrument and has odd features even the other prototype models didn't have. The Sterling model was, was re released in late 1993. This one dates to July 27th, 1993. I've seen three prototype models that were made in February of 1993 and they didn't have pick guards. Uh, when the Sterling was made as a production model, they ended up having pick guards. That is true. 
Okay, so I'm not gonna read this crazy amount of text. What I will say is I just called Sterling Ball who was in charge of literally Music Man up until just a few years ago. Um, he, his, his namesake is on the, you know, Sterling by Music Man guitars. He's Ernie Ball's son. He had a hand in literally anything that happened in the factory, especially in 1993. I sent this listing to him and he said, we, A, would have never made a body, we've never made a body out of bird's eye maple, because why? B, What's the point of having a base or prototype at all with no no logo on it? There's there's no point. Uh, C, those inlays look terrible and we've never done inlays like that, especially in 1993, because back in 1993, they were basically exclusively making the EVH Axis guitars and trying to keep up with production of those in 1993. Um, they never made a base like this. These are old vintage parts, uh, the neck plate, the bridge, and it's probably a warmth body and neck is what this is. Employees didn't steal and make guitars at the Music Man factory, especially at that time, because it was literally like a, ten of, a team of like 10 people, just not really possible. Um, but I asked Sterling and he said, that's not a, uh, that's not a, that's not one of the Sterling prototypes. So that's what he said. So if, and if anyone would know, he would know. And then he also asked Dudley, who was Music Man's chief design engineer for 30 years. And he said, nope, they never did a bass like that ever. So there you go. Ridiculous reverb listing. Uh, debunked. $1,500 though, if you want. If, if you still want it, could be yours. Next listing. Epiphone, Les Paul from Hell 2023 burnt. <laughs> you don't say. Huh? Was this thing literally in a fire? Oh my God. I think it has literally been in a fire. <laughs> no way. No way. This Epiphone came from hell and bears the scars. I, the burnt process has been sealed with epoxy. It plays very nice, has a single Nazgul bridge pickup and locking tuners, plus a custom truss rod cover. Yes, that will make it sound better. So you burnt this. Oh my God, you burnt the hell out of it, pun intended, and then sealed it with epoxy. And the look, oh man, just let the fire keep going. Oh, that is a horrible looking guitar. $398.23. What if we made an offer? 100 bucks. It's my budget today. Please accept offer, please. <laughs> I don't want that guitar. It probably smells horrible as well. That's the thing. And last but not least, we have the sweet little 16 Explorer shape pink polka dot custom made guitar for $1,265.45. Oh, that in the United Kingdom. Look at this thing. This is, um, this is for Barbie's side project. Barbie, Sully. Sully made this guitar. No, he didn't make this guitar. Although that's hilarious. I, I am wearing this shirt that looks like the Barbie logo. And now we have Barbie's guitar. That was unintentional, I promise you, but uh, funny nonetheless. Pink polka dot mini Explorer. That is, I've never seen that trend before. I wonder if it works. Love those bridges. Those are cool. <laughs> this is a ridiculous guitar. Bravo, whoever sent this in. Bravo. That is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know what this would have been. Sweet little 16. 
Is that an actual brand? Surely this is made for someone's hair metal band or something. I bought this in February. It was advertised as the very first full build by Cleveland-based custom boutique guitar builder, Anthony Allen, through Zeno Guitars. I expected some decent build, but what I've received was one of the biggest nightmares I've ever bought. I'm sorry, Zeno Guitars. I've never bought such, such a shit for a big amount of money. I've done a total refurbishment to the top to bottom. I loved its style, the pink polka dot, so it was refinished using the same idea. Wow. I appreciate the honesty. Respect. It looks as it looks. It's definitely not the guitar for everyone, but I'm sure a new owner will love it. Oh, wow. Well, that that's a bummer that you ordered a custom build and it wasn't what you wanted, but you had it redone. Hopefully to your satisfaction. That is certainly... A ridiculous guitar. Sweet little 16 Explorer shape. There you go. And that does it for this episode of Ridiculous Reverb Listings. If you have your own listing, feel free to click the link down below in the description. And while you're down there, click that subscribe button. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.